Boy is a skilled gambler. At the young age of five, he wins in every single bet. He earns several tens of thousands of dollars a month from his allowance alone, so he can buy cotton candy freely. And he was always different from mother since he was young. He liked to laugh silly at the ear when he was just born. At the age of two, he already learned it, to recite the book of Psalms backwards. He never listens carefully during class when he goes to school. Yet, he always gets a perfect score on his exams. But that's not all. What's even more infuriating is that, during every exam, he creates two additional problems on his own. I don't know if you've noticed. There are always for people around Fan Yi, but only Fan Yi can see them. Others think he is talking to himself, but it turns out that these for people are not human. What's going on here? This story dates back to the day Fan Yi was born. Fan Yi's mother was on the way to the hospital to give birth. Unfortunately, she encountered a car accident halfway. A bus crashed through the guardrail and fell into the river, killing all five people. The driver caused the accident, which angered God and caused him to be taken away. The four ghosts were left behind confused and lost. Don't go. We're still here. Wait, I cry? The four ghosts were immediately forced to Fen Yi's side. They cannot be more than five meters away from Fen Yi. Otherwise, they will be instantly pulled back. And so, the four ghosts became nannies, taking care of the child every day. Although it is very worry-free this way, Fen Yi's father always feels that his son has some kind of illness. Why does he always talk to himself? Why does he always come in first in his exams? If things don't get better, let's send him to a psychiatric hospital. Let's have another child. After hearing this, the four ghosts feel quite guilty. They think that they have pampered Fan Yi too much in recent years. He has learned so much at such a young age. It feels a bit unnatural. So they decide to leave the child. In the middle of the night, while no one is awake, they tell Fan Yi that they are leaving. Fan Yi cries fiercely, although they are reluctant to leave. They still leave, but they do not go far, and are just hidden. They silently guard him, not disturbing Fan Yi's normal life. In the blink of an eye, Fan Yi has become a young man. Through his own efforts, he has become a banker. And what he doesn't know is that there are always four ghosts around him. They also eavesdrop on Fan Yi's whispers with his girlfriend. All the talk is about getting married. Shu Fan wants to get married right away. Fan Yi wants to wait a bit longer until his career takes off. The four ghosts are excited too. They are finally looking forward to seeing their gods and getting married. But suddenly a car drives in. Isn't it that damn driver? They are about to beat him up. When he said, don't be arrogant. I'm a professional soul collector now. 20 years ago. I should have taken you guys. Now I'm done to make up for my mistake. The four ghosts are stunned. You are doing this too hastily. We haven't done anything these years. Just playing with a child. They say, okay. He replies, I'll give each of you a chance to fulfill your wishes. After that, I will come to collect you again. After thinking about it, they realize that as ghosts, they cannot fulfill their own wishes. As oh, they pin their hopes on Fen Yi. But the most crucial thing is that Fen Yi cannot see them at all. This causes them to be very anxious. They constantly chatter around Fen Yi, but Fen Yi still cannot see them. At this moment, they suddenly remember the lullaby they sang when Fen Yi was a child. And just like that, it awakens Fen Yi's memory. However, in the blink of an eye, Fen Yi gets scared enough to suddenly swerve the car and cause an accident. Luckily, Fen Yi is okay. The for ghosts comfort Fen Yi, telling him that they are his godparents. They're here to ask for wishes. Fen Yi agrees to help them with a grateful heart. One of his godparents, that Dodger, has always had a regret in his heart. He stole a child stamp and sold it to a local wealthy man. Now, he wants to return the stamp to the boy. As oh, Fen Yi and the for ghosts find the wealthy man's house. The Dodger quickly possesses Fen Yi's body there and easily opens the door. They expect to grab the stamp and leave. But midway through, a dog suddenly appears. Scaring Fan Yi, they rush to flee, but in their rush, they run into the wealthy man face to face. Desperate, he has no choice but to knock the wealthy man unconscious and jump from upstairs to escape. Finally, they successfully retrieve the stamp and then find the boy's home and leave it at his doorstep. Many years have passed. The boy has become a greasy middle-aged man, but when he sees the stamp that he lost for many years, he is still surprised. Oh my god, I can strike it rich. This stamp can buy me a whole city. He exclaims. The Dodger is very relieved to see that. After the Dodger's wish has been fulfilled, the driver comes to collect him in a bus. The next person on the list is Black Mom. Her only wish is to see her three children again. However, when she returns to her old house, she discovers that her family is long gone. She later learns from neighbors that her three children were adopted and remain missing. With no leads, they focus on helping the musician fulfill his wish. The musician's wish is simple. That's to sing on stage one more time. This is so simple. Fanny finds a concert. He rushes onto the stage. And he makes the musician possess him. Without any hesitation, he starts singing to the audience. It is incredible. His performance surprises even the theater management. With his professional skills, after he finishes singing, he receives unanimous praise from the audience. However, he's caught by the security for performing on stage without permission. In the blink of an eye, 
he's taken to the police station. The policeman finds that he is a first-time offender and releases him after educating him with some simple words. But he collides with a police car after just driving home. The police officers he collides with is also African-American, who is holding a child in his arms and singing a lullaby he composed. When the black mom hears the song, she recognizes it's the lullaby she created. An outsider would not have known the origin of the song. Then he asks for the police officer's name. And when he gets an answer, it's indeed Black Mom's son. Black Mom is quite excited and hugs her son tightly. Although the police officer is bewildered, he still felt that Fanny is very friendly. In the end, both the musician and the Black Mom have been taken away by a bus. Only the college student is left. Her wish is quite simple, best to apologize to her boyfriend and accept his marriage proposal promised in the past. Following her memory, Feng Yi arrives at the boyfriend's house. However, she finds that her boyfriend passed away several years ago. Then, the bus comes to take her away. But Feng Yi is not happy. She hasn't fulfilled her wish yet, so she can't leave. The college student comforts Feng Yi and tells him not to worry, as maybe her boyfriend is waiting for her in heaven. In this way, I still have a wish. Your girlfriend is nice. When I leave, I hope you two will get married. After the college student leaves, Feng Yi remembers that wish. He turns around and proposes to his girlfriend, saying that he has lost many people in his life and he would cherish the present person. Finally, the couple get married happily. Alright, this story is finished. See you in the next video.